I'm Mike, and this is my bike. Oh, amazing! Mike, tell me something about your bike. It's on the F4i, yes? Yeah. That's and correct. let's start from the front. Uh, front setup. Front setup. Uh, the front setup is pretty much stock. I changed the springs inside the side. You changed springs because it's very soft. Uh, yeah. Suspension. Yeah. This is a sport touring bike, so you would have a, a soft suspension, not a race bike suspension. Like. like and now see. it's way better, yeah. Yeah, it's way better. Mm -hmm. Front brakes are stock ones. You have an Active Saddle. Brake Master. It's 18. 18 millimeters. Yeah. Wow, that's a big one. Triple tree. It's, it's not uh, the stock one. No, it's not. It's a uh, it's a it's a gift from a great friend I have, and, uh, and it's it's made for the dirt bars, and I, I like riding the dirt bars, so I I enjoy this. It's better than drilling holes into the stock ones. They yeah. tend to break because it ain't gonna be uh, symmetrical. No, not with my eye, maybe. <laughs> uh, I can see that this side that clutch. You love it. Yeah, I like the setup clutch. It's it's uh, it's very comfortable for your finger. You don't get wobbles or anything. You tend to do with these cheaper models. Yeah. You tried a lot of clutch levers. Yeah, yeah. This side up and RC is definitely the my preferred the best models uh, for now. Handbrake. What uh, bump? Handbrake is a clutch pump of Ducati 749. It's clutch pump. Yeah, it's a clutch pump. Wow. Amazing. It's good because it's convertible. You can put the banjo in each side. It's like the same thread. So oh. you can mix it. You can use. You need to have a very adjustable handbrake and clutch setup. You know, for stunt riding. From some guys have two meters of fingers, and some guys have three. Okay. And from what bike? It's from Ducati. Seven four nine. Okay. First time I'm hearing that someone put the yeah? clutch pump. Yeah. <laughs> How many millimeters? Fifteen. Fifteen. So yeah. quite big. It's pretty good for handbrake, you know, for two calibers. You want it. I like it's a smaller, soft setup, not, not too hard. Radiator, you weld it a bit. Yeah, the radiator is, is reinforced uh, and with a second fan from a, from a R6. Or yeah, R1. all the guys use the uh, yeah. second fan from R6. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the frame. It's stuck. Did yeah. you put some modifications on it? Somehow it's still stuck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these frames are quite strong, but, but you have quite a small, narrow turning angle. Yeah. So I I grind it off the steering stops. And now you have uh, now you can turn your wheel a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. That's key. That's very essential for saving your drifts or yeah, to or to to drift like very low. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Fuel tank. Fuel tank. You smashed with a hammer or you cut it and welded? I kept it old school. I smashed it with a hammer. Okay. <laughs> and this one is uh, from China? It's the greatest invention you can get off the internet, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 5 euros or something and these are just plug and play and you never have a leak. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Crash cages. Crash cages. I'm very picky with my crash cages because I like them to be very small slim fit and, uh, and still I want to be able to stand on those so I make my own crash cages you make my own? yeah, this is, oh, you don't see the sticker? <laughs> <laughs> Mike is Mikey Mike, Mike. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you weld your own uh, foot stands yes? yeah, the rear sets is my own invention if you can say it's, it's like they race slightly yeah so you can put like a longer pack you know, often you see on the bikes they have like Five and six meters of eggs. If you raise them, naturally they'll be farther away from the ground, so you can put a yes. longer one. Yes. yes, that's quite smart. How many tooth on your rear sprocket? Uh, it's the 66 teeth. Uh, your exhaust is not the stock one. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm happy you mentioned that. It's uh, it's my own invention. Uh, you you create this exhaust? Yeah, I like I like to I like to come up with some different designs than just a straight can or something. And, and this one's really good. I can see a red battery. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a very light one. Very light one. Everything about this bike is light. 
everything that can be made from aluminium, titanium is made from that. Uh, your seat. Seats. Uh, it's just uh, one big seat. One like big the biggest seat. seat. Yeah, I like the banana seat. It's <laughs> like very good for me in my ass when I jump from the pack to pack. I I tend to have a, a issue with stabbing myself on the, on the subframe yes. when I have the, the split seat model. So I changed these many years ago. Because I lo I saw a lot of guys who change from one seat to two seats. Yeah. For you, it's better one. Yeah, seat. definitely, definitely one. Okay, it's a bit more tired, but this is working perfectly. Okay, and extra steel over here, yeah? Yeah, so don't, you don't want to break these letters. They will be destroyed in like a minute or so, if you don't have some step yeah. plate. Your rear brake setup, it's from Yamaha calipers, yeah. yes? It's R6, they're very popular. And holder? Uh, it's from, uh, from a Brazilian company, Stunt Race. Uh, I recently started to work with these guys and they make some very good products and I, you know, I like to They're like sponsors of you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And I see Mike Jensen sub cages. I'm not proud of this one, but yeah, it's uh, it's actually the, the sub cage of my first bike. I just re-welded it like 500 times or something, so... Perfect. Yeah, perfect. it's perfect. Stock one? Stock one with the uh, junction valve. You see, I, don't, I only have two calibers, but yeah. for the handbrake, I use both, and for the foot brake, I use one. Um, do you want to say something more? Yeah, otherwise, uh, I dyno tuned my bike. Dyno, yeah? Yeah, it's got a power commander, and I made uh, open filters so you can fist fuck your tank. <laughs> And uh, and that makes it very easy to make mechanical work. Everyone who rides the F4i knows that the airbox is huge. Yeah, huge. And you need to take out 25,000 screws every time. How many horsepowers now? Uh, 102. And on the stock? And stock was? Uh, I don't know on the wheel. You lose about 50 horsepower. I, guess. I gained about. I gained. 11 horsepower and so extra um, 11 horses yeah that's quite good it's quite good this bike is so much more fresh than my second bike uh, you have two the same bikes two identical bikes so you can ship one bike and you still have another one in your yeah. home perfect uh, do you put extra oil in your engine? Yeah, yeah, definitely. At least a liter. At least a liter? Yeah. That's a lot. Because yeah, in Kawasaki, lot. guys, put like half liter or 400 milligrams, and you put extra one liter? Yeah, I don't want to be sure. I never broke an engine, so I guess I, I keep it pretty pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, for the FRI, you would like to do a switch of the ignition, the advancer, you know, you want to put a, a timing advancer in the engine. Yeah. Yeah, that helps a lot. I know. In the low RPM. So, okay, we need to go under the shadow because I'm wet as hell. Thank you, bro. Man. No problem. Thank you.